All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me good, good enough. This is going to be a failed experiment if you can't. All right, so the build. I've pretty much built the build already. Just go over it. Gatling Gun has a really neat perk. He is not going to be doing a lot of damage anyway, but it has the really neat weapon perk of overcharge protection. Gives him the protect status when he uses overcharge. Gives him just a little bit more defense. Not like he needs it. He's got 223 defense with all of this. He's got a vitality up on one of these slots that gives him more vitality, but it's going to make him very, very resilient. You know, he's going to be able to survive when everyone else dies, if everyone else dies, and he'll be able to raise them with this extra MP up. So here's the build. He's got the Fortitude Ring, which gives him plus 50 of mag magic defense and defense. Hades Armlet, because he needs less materia than everyone else, I think. But everybody has these four. HP up, Precision Defense Focus, Surface Block Revival, just in case. I don't think we're going to need Revival at all, but it's there just in case. Just a little bit make, makes you a little bit safer. ATB Assist, Barret's really bad usually for ATB Assist because most of his skills use two ATB bars. We're going to artificially make him use one ATB bar at a time by wasting commands. And the reason we do that is because we want to generate ATB fast on the other characters. And the best way to do that is to have Barret generate ATB because he's the fastest ATB generator in the game, in my opinion. Um, skill Master, for the same reason, he's every three skills, he's going to keep an ATB bar so he can more quickly give ATB to Tifa and... Aerith using ATB assist. Elemental and fire. Aerith has elemental fire and ice. Tifa has elemental fire and those are obvious. You want to get past the first fight with the least amount of trouble. They'll all have fire for the Gilgamesh fight. They'll be able to survive the first phase of Sephiroth. That's all obvious. Um, Swift cast and lightning. You're, you can be surprised just how effective that can be at avoiding bad situations. We might be able to see some of those um, later, but uh, Lightning is the fastest magic. Aga, magic, all four of them, Faraga, Blizzaga, Thundaga, Aroga, they all um, they all interrupt most things. And so Swift Cast Thundaga, absolutely excellent for interrupting bullshit like Ephemerality, uh, you know, Leaping Cleave, if, if, if you don't want to be hit by that, if you don't want to get reprisal. MP up for, like I said, Prayer, because we don't want to be spending MP on heals, and he generates a lot of MP, so... He generates a lot of ATB, so he'll be able to use prayer a lot. Vitality up. Um, unflinching overcharge, ATB charge up, uh, max HP plus 20, plus 200. Sorry. Uh, Aerith is missing two materia slots to simulate weapon level 8, because most of you are not going to have weapon level 9 to have these two extra slots. So this is the build that I have for her without those two slots. HP up, precision defense focus, steadfast block, and first strike. She wants that because she's going to start the fight using her buffs. She's very good at buffs using this Enchanted Ring and her weapon traits. Enchanted Ring has extends the duration of beneficial status effects applied by the wearer. Also, she has Altruistic Buff Up times 2. Spiritual Harvest to give her extra MP whenever she needs MP to use her shit. Reprieve because she's the squishiest character. She's only got 101 defense. She's got 1,000 less HP than Tifa. She can be at risk of dying, especially to Sephiroth, um, if there is no, uh, 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 barrier up. But we're always gonna have barrier up for Sephiroth, that's not gonna be a problem. Especially with her. So she's got Elemental Fire and Ice, like I said, Magnify Barrier, Magnify Time for Haste. So those are gonna be her two main focuses, keeping barriers up, keeping haste up. She's got Prayer for Healing, so she doesn't have to spend her MP on it. Also because Magnify Healing is annoying. We're going to give Magnify Healing to Tifa. Uh, she's got Revival, just like Tifa. Kaiser Knuckles is the strongest weapon in the game. It's by far the strongest Direct Claws. It's stronger than Dragon Claws, but mostly I'm using the Kaiser Knuckles because um, they have six slots at level eight, and Dragon Claws do not, and it's not really important, the traits. So she does more damage with Kaiser Knuckles, and she's going to be your primary damage dealer. So we, still, we don't want to compromise too much of her damage dealing capability. So HP up, Precision Defense... Steadfast block ATB stagger because we're going to make sure that she has the most stagger. She has the most ATB gauge possible during a stagger because she's going to be your primary damage dealer during stagger. First strike because she's going to open every fight with um, region just to be 100% safe because this is a safety build. Odin because it's the most physical damage on a summon. Elemental Fire, like I said, Magnify Healing, so she can pop Regen at the beginning of every fight. Regen is a very long-lasting buff. I would give it to Aerith, but Aerith has enough things that she's doing. 
Um, she can pop Regen at the beginning of every fight. It'll last for the for the for most of the fights. Poison and Petrify. You don't really need the Petrify. The poison is there for Odin, just in case uh, you want to help him get into Slepnir's Cure because he um, having debuffs on him increases the uh, the the speed at which he gains uh, 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 what do you call that? Fuhrer, whatever. Um, ATB boost because you want to make sure that she's got the most ATB possible whenever she's going into a stagger. Uh, because, like I said, she's the most damage. She uses enemy skill because we don't have empowerment on anybody. Um, she's just going to be the primary damage dealer, so she's going to use Sonic Boom to give herself a 50% damage boost while she's doing her um, stagger combos. Revival, like I said. Uh, concentration to give her a 100% chance. If you add the Folio skill concentration, it gives her a 100% chance of starting at level 2 Chi. Uh, max HP plus 200, enhanced magic guard. Enemy parts damage up. There's not a whole lot of really good choices, and you can't use this last one, because you need the weapon level 9 to have the last one, so I'm not using it on purpose. Anyway, that's the build. Um, this empty slot is where I would put her strength, 5-star uh, strength materia, but since I have level 9, I am purposefully omitting it, and you can pretend there's level 5 strength in there, and if you put a level 5 strength there, you'll have more attack power than me, so your Tifa is going to be stronger than me if you use this build, and you've got all of these materials and, and your love weapon level eight so let's go ahead and get into the cloud how go your travels well i hope most of the tips are going to be sephiroth um we'll try and get quickly through the rest of the fights it's easier to kill kujata once he's had an elemental weakness once you remove his elemental weakness we've got People with all of the magic so he's gonna use overcharge at the beginning of every fight Tifa's gonna run in uh, okay he's stunned now but is everyone else stunned no no one else is so Tifa's gonna go ahead and use region just as practice we don't need it for this fight at all but just as practice mana wall on Aerith and now Barrett is gonna do his main job okay Aerith used mana wall but she got um, interrupted so Mana Wall didn't go out. We're going to give her ATB now by using a single ATB skill, which is bonus round and steel skin. So we'll pop steel skin, and then we'll pop like a focused shot. And we'll pop that on um, Kujata. And now they've got ATB. I'm going to try and block that. Didn't need to block it. Okay, generate more ATB. Overcharge. So he's really good at generating ATB. All right. So he's got two ATBs, and Kujata's about to get Lightning Elemental, you can see. And you can get rid of that with two level three wind spells. So I'm going to have Aerith put an Arcane Ward under Barret, and then Barret is going to use double Aeroga. And it's Swift Cast Aeroga, by the way, which I, I recommend you get. Even though it's annoying to level, I recommend Swift Cast Aeroga. Pop two Arogas on him, and now he's no longer Lightning Elemental. He's pressured. I can use Focus Shot. Tifa's just going to auto-attack him. Oh, Tifa's need to get the fuck out first, but... Just going to attack him. She's going to block this if she can. Try and block. Yeah, I blocked it. Um, unbridled Strength. Don't think you'll walk away from it. She's going to use Sonic Boom and get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Okay. Now she's going to hopefully stagger him. And once he's staggered he's going to absolutely die okay she's got sonic boom she's got everything so true strike true strike no wait 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 atb boost true strike true strike you can see where this is going rise and fall like i could do another true strike an omni strike another true strike i don't need to do that i'm just gonna give myself Level 3 again. I've got Rise and Fall. And now... Aerith... is going to Transcendence to give herself more magic power. She's going to be doing most of the damage to... Uh, Phoenix. She's going to be using Double Cast Blizzagas in that Arcane Ward she created. The best way to give her ATB, though, is going to be to have Barret give her ATB assist, so... Well, first I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to target Kujata. I'm going to give him a Tempest. And now I'm going to switch to Barret. 
I'm going to... Actually, I'll use a... I'll have them Divine Punishment, Kujata. And while Tifa and Aerith are Divine Punishing them, I will uh, generate ATB on Aerith. So, Divine Punishment's happening. And I'm going to bonus round. Focus shot. That gave Aerith some ATB. I'm going to overcharge now. Got to back off. Give Aerith some more ATB. Well, I'll use some of Tifa's ATB. Gotta have her use, I don't know, overpower, or whatever. Okay, now Barrett's gonna use Steel Skin again, just as a single target skill. Gonna use Maximum Fury, why not? And now Aerith is gonna teleport back to her ward. She's here. And she's waiting for, um... Okay. So, uh, uh, Phoenix is in the middle of the arena, so she can safely go ahead and throw out two Plazagas at the Phoenix. If the first one kills, the second one will go towards, um... The first one did not kill. Okay, now Barret. Now he's lightning again, Kujata. So since Kujata's lightning, I'm going to have him go into the Arcane Ward. I'm going to have him double cast Arogas. And they're instant cast, so I don't need to worry about having opportunity. If you, if you target Kujata on his backside... Her short-range attacks like True Strike will not hit him. You kind of have to attack him on his belly side in order to hit him. So that's just another little tip. Rise and Fall. Another True Strike. And then an Omni Strike, and he's dead. Tifa's got all the damage, even when you're building her beefy. She's got all the damage. Okay. You really want to focus on Titan, but for now we're going to get our buffs up. So, um, Bahamut's coming towards us. Let's go ahead and lock on to Titan. Um, Tifa is going to use Region. While she's using Region, I'm going to spam Triangle to get Overcharge off on Titan. Overcharge is off on Titan. Aerith just got hit. I'm going to wait until she's clear. And once she's clear of anybody... Come on, Bahamut. No, he's, he's harassing Aerith. Come on, Aerith, get over here. I'm just gonna keep blocking until he stops harassing her. Dude, get the fuck over here. Stop harassing Aerith. Okay. Um, even though she's being hit, uh, there's no interrupt, so she's gonna go ahead and mana wall. Okay, mana walls are up, region is up. I'm gonna try and roll out of that. I don't want a perfect parry for y'all. Oh, that was an accidental perfect parry. Um, Alright, let's give them... Let's steel skin. Let's focus shot. Let's give them ATB... They're kind of low, and they're being harassed by Bahamut, so I'm just going to pray with Barret to give them their health back. It's a little annoying to have to do it that way, but... Alright, so Tifa's going to Unbridled Strength to give herself to level 3 Chi. Um, Aerith is going to Haste. Everybody's hasted. Roll away from that. I got hit anyway. Whatever. All right. We're mostly ready to go ahead and... Okay, so Crush Grip actually doesn't do a whole lot of damage at all. Like, look at this. She's hanging around 5,800, 5,900. She'll lose like 500 to this. Yeah, not a big deal. And if you thought it was a big deal, then... I don't know. Just to... Okay. Ba uh, mana Wards are, are still active. Let's give her extra magic damage with Transcendence. Let's have Barret. Okay, so the Pulse of Violence got crippled. That means that his Pulse of Defiance is about to go away. His Pulse of Defiance is gone now. So we're going to use Focus Shot, which gives an incredible amount of stagger. And we're going to have Tifa just go over here to Titan and just wreck his shit. Use one Focus Strike just for the... Okay. 
So now she's going to use Sonic Boom, which does actually extra damage to him because it's Wind Elemental. Um, Sonic Boom is up. She's going to use True Strike. Uh, Rise and Fall. Another True Strike. Omni Strike. Um, oh, he's so dead. I'm just going to Unbridled Strength my way back up and auto attack him down. Yeah. Block. This attack. Um, overcharge. Okay, so he's going to give ATB to everybody again with this combo of moves. Um, now, let's use a Divine Punishment on Bahamut. Actually, no, no, no. Let them use some skills first. Get Barrier back up, Aerith. Have Tifa get region back up. I don't know. I just wanted them to use some skills. I'm going to start blocking this. Whirlwind Slash is going to hit. Even if I don't perfect parry it, blocking it's going to give me a lot of ATB. So. Now I'm going to have them use Divine Punishment. I'm going to use this opportunity to gain ATB for myself, and then gain ATB for them. So, bonus round. Focus shot. All right, so now, whenever he goes into wings, this is your opportunity. So the best thing that you can do when he goes into wings is use a magic with Aerith. So like say, let's use a Fyra on one of his wings. That should kill it. And then with Tifa, we're gonna go to the other wing, which is the left wing. We're gonna target it. We're going to use R1 plus triangle or R1 plus square, which is gonna give you his heavenly ascent. It's gonna get us into the air. And once we're in the air, we're gonna use overpower on that last wing. And then that's going to pressure him. We're going to... We're going to overcharge with him. We're going to use focus shot. We're going to have Tifa just auto-attack him. Uh, she doesn't have Sonic Boom anymore, so she's going to use that. Omni-Strike. Um, Avalanche two-step. And then she's going to use her last ATB on Transcendence. And that's going to kill him real good. Go on. And we're safe. Odin fight's a little annoying. Um, you can opt to have Barrett use one of his first ATBs on... So let's go ahead and lock... Okay, he's, he's charging. So I'm going to lock onto him. He's probably charging at Barrett since he's my played character. I'm just going to block this. I'm going to overcharge him. And I'm going to Bioga him. Wait. Wait, that's on Tifa. Tifa's got Bioga. So Tifa's going to Bioga him. Aerith is going to Mana Wall, as usual. All right, now, Steel Skin and a bonus round to give everybody ATB blocking. That perfect parry was coincidental, it was just blocking. Um, blocking Helm Cleaver. Now, Helm Cleaver gives you bracelets. And if you look at, he's got bracelets now, which means if he uses an ATB attack skill on Odin, he's gonna get reprisaled. Which isn't that big of a deal for him because he has a lot of poise because of Steel Skin. Um, but if you don't want him to take unnecessary damage for no reason, then you can just have him use Steel Skin and Bonus Round back to back to give ATB to Tifa and Aerith. And now Tifa and Aerith have extra ATB. Aerith's um, barrier never went out, so I'm gonna have her cast it again. I'm going to block with uh, Barret. I'm going to have Tifa use a Cura on Barret because he's the only one that's low. I'm going to block. I'm going to use another Steel Skin bonus, bonus round. And then I'm going to block. 
And I'll use Overcharge because Overcharge doesn't trigger Reprisal. Only ATB skills do. I'll have Tifa use Unbridled Strength to get herself to level 3. I'll have Aerith use uh, Transcendence to give herself extra magic damage. He's going to go into Slepnir's Fear probably soon. Going to block Earth Tremor. There's Earth Tremor blocked. Um, they can go ahead and Divine Punishment Odin to ensure that he goes into Slepnir's Fear. So I'm going to go ahead and let them Divine Punishment Odin. And while they're doing that, I'm going to let Barret give them ATB again. Now, even though I have bracelets, as long as he's stunlocked by that, he's able to use attacks. So instead of Steel Skin bonus round doing nothing, I'll Steel Skin and uh, Focus Shot. And he's not going to interrupt me. Now he should definitely either fly away or... Okay, he flew away. He's either going to flow away or go into Slepnir's Freer. And this is just as preferable in my opinion. Now we can uh, fight... So, we don't have Regen on everybody yet, because we opened with Bioga, so we're just going to have Tifa use Regen. We've still got plenty of barriers, everybody's pretty healthy. Aerith is a little missing. If I wanted to be super careful, then I could just pray with Barret. He generates ATB really fast anyway, and now everybody's super healthy. I should not have used Overcharge. Okay, so... He can do about half health damage to one of these arms with a Thundaga, with a Swift Cast Thundaga. So I'm going to have him use Swift Cast Thundaga on that left arm and have it break. Light Pillar goes out. Light Pillar is not all that threatening, but it's super annoying when you break an arm because your character will automatically target. Um, let's break this right arm real quick. Okay, the right arm's broken. I want to get a Tempest out with Aerith. i got to block this Earth Tremor first, though. i got to block this Dodge... Okay. Tempest out will help him get pressured. Tifa's going to go in and use a Focus Strike to help pressure. Barret is going to overcharge and use Focus Shot and get pressure. Even though it looks like a lot of shit just happened, not a whole lot of damage. Not very threatening. It does give everybody level 3. But if you've got Mana Wall, then even if he gets his Divine Judgment out, which he's not going to at all, nowhere close, even if he did, it wouldn't be threatening damage. So just Focus Shot because he's pressured. Get Tifa really close. All of that poison ground is going to go away now that he's been staggered. So Tifa's going to get close. She's going to uh, Sonic Boom before Rising and Falling. Rise and Fall is going to give her ATB. Aerith is going to use Haste, because Haste isn't up yet, and then she's going to use level 2 uh, Transcendence. So, uh, True Strike, Transcendence, and, and he's definitely super dead. Definitely Mega Omega dead. She's going to give herself level 2 Chi again. And now this boss is going to be in Slepnir's Fear very quickly. Because he didn't come close the last time. He's still poisoned. Yeah, there he is. He's in Slepnir's Fear. So once he's in Slepnir's Fear, I can almost just fucking zerg the shit out of him with a focus shot. But I want to keep him alive. Just I want to give some extra ATB to Tifa and Aerith. So I'm going to give Tifa ATB to them using the same shit as usual. Yeah, look at that. If I perfect guard this, then then it would okay so now she's still got you can look at her buffs she's still got sonic boom so i'm not gonna bother with sonic boom anymore she's level two chi um so i'm gonna go ahead and use a true strike i'm gonna omni strike that'll give her enough shit back i'll use another true strike barrett can go ahead and lb because he's got it why not um have her whirling uppercut have Aerith use, I don't know, Fyra? Why not? Yeah. So, yeah, Tifa just fucking re wrecks shit with Stagger. Tifa needs to be on every easy mode team. Nobody can do what Tifa does, not even close. Alright, so, beginning of this fight, 
Tifa, okay, so we, we, we want to pause like I just did and see what he's about to do. If I had opened with um, overcharge like I normally do, then he'd probably hit me with this sloppy sword play and I'd take like 6,000 damage. So we're going to dodge this sloppy sword play and we're going to spend a little bit of time seeing what he does by pausing the game. Dodge sloppy sword play by rolling behind him. So lock onto him. Make, see what he does. Fall and blossom. Okay, I should be safe to use an overcharge. I'm going to do that. Gilgamesh beam is probably going to hit me, but it won't make me... It's fine because I have unflinching whatever. Um, since he's going to continue targeting me, I'm going to have Tifa go ahead and open with her region. I'm going to have Aerith open with basically just a barrier. And that demon wave is heading straight towards me. If I don't block it, it's going to hit me with a status effect. So I can either perfect block it and get nothing, or I can block it and get a rune. So I'm just going to have Aerith use this barrier. I'm going to hold block on Barret and make sure that... So she's using the barrier. I'm holding block. And now you can see that I've got a rune on me. That rune is a little annoying, but not all that big of a deal. Now he's going to helm splitter me, and I just need to continue blocking this helm splitter. Gives me plenty of ATB. Continue watching him, see what he does. His foot's up. If I hold R1 right now, I'll probably perfect parry. Nope. Okay, upheaval slam. It's very, very short range. Just roll away from him. It won't hit you if you get anywhere far away. Let's just keep seeing what he does. He jumped away, which gives you an opportunity to sh shoot a few shots. Booming swing. Now, this is the thing you need to watch out for. If he hits you with booming swing and you don't at least block it, then it will hit you with a random status effect, which could be Petrify, it could be Frog, it could be really, really annoying. And so you need to... He's, he's raising the sword up with his right hand. Only like 0.1 seconds is happening every second. Um, or 0 0.01 seconds is happening every second. But that sword is going to glow red here in a moment. And now that it's glowing red, if I, if, I, if I push circle and push R1, I'll probably perfect block it. So circle R1. Okay, no, I just regular blocked it. But... Still, you want to block that. If you don't block it, you're going to get a status effect. It can be really, really bad. So, fighting Gilgamesh, if you want to be safe, you just kind of want to keep doing this. Flutterwing Dance, it's generally super safe. Wait for the rune to appear on me, and then... Okay, there's the rune. I'm going to go ahead and use my... I'm going to give them ATB with Steel Skin and, and say, uh, bonus round. Okay. Let's see what he does. Soaring Cross. This just is a... Uh, Middle range in front of him. If you get about this far away, it doesn't hurt you. Go ahead and generate some ATB. Whirlpool Dance. It will hurt Barret, but it won't hurt Aerith. So just get out of the circle with Barret, which here's fine. Overcharge. I'm going to have Tifa use Unbridled Strength to get herself up to level 3. Because right now she's only at level 2. I'm going to have Aerith use Haste. I'm going to continue being on Barret. Demon Wave is probably coming towards Barret, so I'm going to block it. Booming Swing. I've got the rune, so I'm going to keep blocking. If I don't keep blocking, I can get a status effect. I kept blocking. I'm good. I'm going to see what he does. Genji Shield. So, I'm pretty safe here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot... I'm going to wait for the Genji Shield. Okay, there's the Genji Shield. I'm going to shoot a Fire Aga at him, because this is how you get rid of the shield if you don't have Subversion. If he's facing you and you hit him with a high-level spell... That's kind of the best way to do it. So Tifa is going to keep hitting him. Hit him with a rise and fall. There we go. See, it procs the shield because he was facing Barret. And then her rise and fall just did all that damage. So I'm going to do like a whirling uppercut. I'm going to hold square. That's going to kill it. There we go. And now he's pressured and he is ready for me to just lay it on him. I'm going to go ahead and give him a focus strike to help help with that pressure. And now, with Barret, I'm just going to keep attacking him. I'm going to do the same things that I have been doing. Firefly Ward can only be gotten rid of with ranged attacks. So, I'm going to steal skin. I'm going to give ATB to everybody the same way I usually do. And a focus shot, because he's pressured. Um, get out of the circle with Barret. Gilgamesh Beam, I'm holding R1 to block it. I might not block it, because I'm in the middle of his reload. I blocked it. It was a perfect block. Coincidental perfect block. All right, so Aerith, um, barriers are still up. Aerith is going to use Transcendence, which gives her the magic bonus. I'm going to keep blocking. I'm waiting for him to do something. Lunar Slash, you have to dodge this sideways. Dodging sideways. Shit, it didn't work. Okay, so he's going to do a lot of damage to Barret, 
but it's not a big deal because Barrett's our tank. If I was playing as anybody else, it wouldn't be anywhere near threatening. So I want to have a a Cura waiting for Barrett when he gets out of this. Yeah, look at all that damage that he just took. But who gives a freaking shit? He's at full health again. He's using Draw Slash probably on Barrett. So I'm holding block on Barrett. Okay, I've got a rune. He's using Dual Thrust. So I'm just going to keep holding block. Radiant Geyser, probably on Barrett. Going to keep holding block. Waiting. Blocking, blocking. He's probably going to use Booming Swing after this. I cannot safely... Lo I cannot lock myself. Otherwise, I risk getting a status effect. There's Booming Swing. I'm just going to hold block and wait for, it to wait for it to go away. Okay. Let's see what he does. Demon Wave, probably on me. Since it's going on me, I'm going to have Tifa just, I don't know, drop a Chi Trap under him. And I'm going to keep blocking with... A well, actually, she's standing right in front of him, and I don't want her to get... She'll dodge it if I just let her dodge it. Flutterwing Dance... Okay, he popped a rune under me, but he has to pop four runes, so I've got plenty of time to just go ahead and uh, and use something. I think I'm going to use a... Hmm, what do I want to use? I'll give them ATB with a still skin bonus round. Okay, he's pro Okay, Gilgamesh Beam is coming. I'm holding R1 to block it. He might Booming Swing again. He might not. Waiting. Pinwheel. This is just... You just block it. Just block, 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 block. Easy. Spatial Rind, you need to roll behind him. The place that he jumps is going to be roughly sw somewhere between me and that tornado behind me. He doesn't jump on top of me. So the best way to dodge it is to roll through him. Like that. Alright. I still have the runes, so I can't safely do shit. But I can have them build up their pips. Haste is still up. Barrier is not up. I'm going to have her barrier... I'm going to have Tifa use Unbridled Strength again, just in case it's about to fall off. Gilgamesh pose. Going to roll away from that. It, I wasn't able to roll away. Well, fuck. All right. Um, while he's using this, if you do enough damage to him, you can get him to release you. I'm going to test this out. Let's see what I can do. Or, yeah, he just said, ouch. So I think he just let him go. Yeah, he just let Barrett go, I think. Yeah. If you do enough damage to him, then he'll then he'll release you from that. But he did end up giving himself um, uh, buffs because whenever he lands a Gilgamesh pose on you, he'll he'll give uh, he'll give you buffs. He'll he'll give himself buffs. Um, Aerith, there's Barrett up. There's Haste up. Um, there's not really a whole lot for her to do. She can Soul Drain for mana. Why not? We need to stay outside. Okay, he's aiming Radiant Geyser at me, so I'm just going to block it. Blocking Radiant Geyser. Blocking Helm Splitter. Um, I can't really dodge Brutal Swing. I'm going to eat this pretty much no matter what as Barret. You kind of either have to outrange it or... I'm just going to eat it. Yeah, no matter how good you dodge it. Sloppy Sword play on me. Shoddy is good away. Sloppy is roll behind, so I'm going to roll behind him. He's about to put his foot up and... No, wait. He's... Are you going to pull out your weapons? Pinwheel. I'm going to block this. Spatial rend roll behind him and then give ATB to them with Steel Skin bonus round. Gilgamesh pose again. I'm going to try and perfect parry this. Let's... Okay, he's in the air. Like that. Well, I'm in the middle of bonus round, so I'm probably going to get hit. But I'm going to hold R1 right now and see if I can block it. Oh! Wait, I was in the middle of an uh, anime. If you're, I know that if there are some things that like Bahamut's crush grip won't hit you if you're in the middle of a certain um, level of armor, like a level three spell. So, bonus round might have been armor for him. I don't know, but triple slash is you need to block it. It's going to give you runes. If you don't block it, it's going to give you a debuff. So I'm just going to block, block, block. I have a rune. I'm going to block brilliant sweep also. Blocked. Whirlpool Dance. His Whirlpool Dance will only ever reach his feet, so if you're really close and he uses Whirlpool Dance, the safest way to dodge it is to get away from him, or to get close to him, like like I just did. So, build some ATB, sloppy, get behind him. Booming, I need to block this, otherwise I could get a bad status effect. No 
All right. Now he's really close to being staggered, and everybody's super buffed. So I'm going to have her Sonic Boom, so she's ready. I'm going to have her Plasma Discharge also, which will help her do a little bit of damage. And this might be one of those rare situations where I'm able to get get a single... I'll be able to get a kill on a single step. That was an accidental perfect parry, and this was the baddest time for it to happen. Okay. So, I'm going to have her Omni Strike, and while she's in the middle of Omni Strike, I'm going to move over to Barret, and I'm going to have him give ATB to, um, with his normal combo. So, she's Omni Striking. I'm on Barret now. I'm Steel Skin. I'm Bonus Round. Okay, she's got ATB back, right? See? So now I'm back on her. I'm going to... True Strike. Auto attack once, true strike. No, actually, it's better because his stagger is long enough that it would be better for me to go ahead and use Unbridled Strength and then Omni Strike, and I'll get ATB back that way. While I'm using Unbridled Strike, I'm going to switch over to Aerith and have her use her Transcendence. Unload this Transcendence on him, switch back to Tifa, get ready to use Omni Strike because she's going to have it after Unbridled Strength goes off. And now. I'm going to land a true strike. Hmm. He's pretty close to dead. If she had had a full ATB, then it might have been enough to kill. But I, I ended up pushing him way earlier than I thought I was going to. So get back on Barrett because he's the most resilient. Play safe the whole time. See what he does. He's jumping on her with Phantasmal Field, which gives me an opportunity to use Overcharge. Firefly Ward, which means it's ranged. Um, I can, I might be able to interrupt it with a Thundaga, with a Swift Cast Thundaga. Otherwise, I would need to use like I'm just gonna try and interrupt it. See what happens. I did interrupt it. That worked out. Excellent. That's fucking awesome. Let's fucking go. Once that rune's gone, I'll start attacking him again. Watch, see what his next action is. Uh, Massey Mooney, just block, just keep blocking. If you parry any of these hits from Massey Mooney. He only does the first hit. Um, now's a good time to go ahead and use a, a level limit break, right? Or, or, or a synergy ability. Arcane Blast for infinite mana? Why not? You ready? They're using... Okay, they're going to both block because they're computers. If they don't, then they'll get a status effect. But they block. You see them both block. All right, so now I'm going to head back. I'm going to use a Sonic Boom on her. I'm going to head back to Barret because he's resilient. Ephemerality roll behind him. Focus and Thrust. I'm just going to block this. I'll have Aerith use Transcendence again. Uh... Brutal swing, I'm not gonna be able I'm gonna try and outrange it. Not quite. Okay, still skin bonus round. Oh I can't okay, sloppy sword play, I'm gonna have to roll behind him. So I'm not gonna bonus round. Gonna generate ATB again. Have Tifa, I don't know, region. Have Aerith, barrier. I mean it's Gilgamesh pose, I'm gonna try and we're gonna try and time this parry, so. He's in the air. Look at him. He's falling. Do you see how he's falling? I'm going to push R1 right now, and it should parry. Perfect. Avalanche two-step. Why not? I'll have Aerith use Tempest while they're doing Avalanche two-step. Using one. Um, barrier is up. Region is up. Um, he's going to be really easy to handle once this ultimate illusion is done. Unfortunately, no one has LB, so LB is the only way to interrupt ultimate illusion, I think. But no one has it, but, you know, barrier is up. We're going to take minimal damage. We'll just heal it back up. He's going to be using a grand eyes. After every time he uses ultimate illusion, he's very vulnerable for a pretty prolonged amount of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Aerith to have a uh, 
Okay, so she's going to use a Fireaga now. Because, well, she's got good magic stats. Firaga interrupts. She's got plenty of MP. And, um... Hopefully it makes him drop something. So I'll just... Oh! Oh, he's super done. Once that Faraga hits, he's gonna get... He's gonna get fucking... Oh, well. Well, there's the shield. Never mind. Alright, focus shot. Alright, so this guy is super mega dunzo. Um, whenever you don't have any ATB, the best thing you can do is unbridled and then spam unbridled uh, and then your, your weapon ability. It's the fastest way to gain ATB back to be able to do extra damage. If you use a true strike, then you're left with no ATB and no ability to get ATB. So, when you've got a lot of stagger left and no ATB, the best thing to do is just to build your, build your chi back up and use your chi moves. Alright, so this is what you've all been waiting for. Um, Tief is running towards him, but he's going to target Barret. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock on him. I'm going to run away from Aerith and let him... I'm going to... Okay. Now, he can't interrupt me during... Because I have unflinching uh, overcharge, he can't interrupt me, so I'm just going to generate free ATB. While he's attacking Barret, Tief is going to use her safety move region. Aerith is going to use her safety move barrier. And now we're going to be very, very safe for a long time. So... He's aiming at somebody. Shadowy Chains, his left foot is going to be pointing towards the person he's aiming at. He's aiming at Aerith, so we're going to switch to Aerith. And we're going to try and hope that we're able to block this in time. But she's in the middle of an attack animation, so the best thing that I can do, honestly, is just hold block and hope that it comes out in time. Aerith is the worst person for being able to block this. But the normal way that you would do it is you would wait for him to close the distance... Once he's about half the distance, you're going to see his sword, like, sort of twist. And once it has twist, there it is. It's coming out. Hold R1. Push circle. Okay. So she was in the middle of an attack animation, and she was not able to um, cancel the animation into a guard. She's the worst for that. So, But everyone else is way, way better. Barret can cancel it pretty good. He's about to attack me. If I want to parry this, I just push R1. Probably. Okay, so let's... Okay, he's definitely doing this towards Barrett, so I'm going to run away. I'm going to wait for him to charge. You can see that he's about to charge. I'm not doing any actions with Barrett, so I'm completely, like, free to, like... So I'm waiting for him to close half the distance. Once he's closed half the distance, I'm going to push R1. And then I'm going to push Circle, and it's going to be a free perfect parry. Free every time. So there's his sword, holding R1 now, pushing Circle... Free perfect parry. Um, he doesn't have a really quick way to stop him from, like, because everyone else can make him real. Barrett can only use overcharge. Watch him. When he uses overcharge, oh, he doesn't have overcharge. Shit. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and give ATB to everyone else. Bonus round in steel skin. Let's see who he targets. He's targeting Tifa. So, see his left foot is pointed towards Tifa. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Okay, he's halfway towards us. Just going to push R1. Holding R1 right now. Just going to push circle. Perfect parry every time. Overpower. Build some pressure on him. Um, he's going to jump on Barret right now. If I hop on Barret, he's in the air. If I push R1 right now, I'll probably perfect parry. So I'm going to push R1, push circle. Perfect parry. If you perfect parry, he won't do an explosion after he lands that move. So I'm just going to go ahead and overcharge. He's using the annoying shadowy chains. This is the stand-up version. And the best way to deal with this is to, um, well, if you don't want to have to learn, if you don't want to learn to time it, all you can really do is what I'm doing right now, which is waiting for that ball. Do you see it? It's kind of, it's kind of between him and Tifa right now, but it's coming towards Barrett. And once it's halfway towards Barrett, just hold R1 and push circle. Perfect parry. And now Tifa's gonna run towards him and use an overpower to knock him off of his feet. Get a little bit of pressure on him. Uh, barriers are still up, region's still up. 
He's aiming another shadowy chain at Tifa. Okay. All right, he's about halfway again. So I'm going to hold R1. No timing required. Push circle. Blocked. Um, she's going to unbridle strength to level 3. I don't know. Why not plasma discharge just to have it? Okay. He's almost halfway again. Once he's halfway, just hold R1. Push circle. Free perfect parry. Free perfect parry every time. Free every time. Okay. After, after you do enough perfect parries, he's just like, well, fuck it. I'm going to... I'll have my way. So Tifa's probably just going to be an idiot and get hit by this Octa Slash, but with Barret, I really want to give everybody ATB, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I normally do. Steel Skin, Focus Shot. And now everybody's still pretty healthy, right? I'm going to Overcharge. He's shadowy changing Barret. Now you see that ball? Once it gets a little bit closer, I'm going to hold R1 and push Circle. You can kind of see it coming towards me. All right, I'm going to hold R1 now for circle. Perfect parry. And just a... Uh, Tifa is going to Sonic Boom. Why not? Aerith is going to put another barrier up because it's almost gone. I'm going to block with... Barret. All right. He might shadowy chains immediately again. He, yeah, he is. And he's aiming it at Barrett, so same as before. Halfway. Hold R1. Push circle. Perfect carry every time. Uh, let's use this energy skill. How about Avalanche two-step? This will allow Aerith to build up some ATB. It'll give her a free transcendence. Now, check this out. Shadowy Chains. Is this the standing version? No, this is the crouching version. Check this out. Swift Cast Thundaga. Fucking cancels his Shadowy Chains. Which he can only do that five times in this fight if he has 90 mana because it costs 18. So he's standing? No, no he's not. I don't think I have the ability to, to block this with a Swift Cast again. Um, I think he's too far into the animation, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it like I normally do it. Okay, he's halfway. Hold R1, push circle, block it. And now, like, he's almost staggered. So what I'm going to do with Tifa is I'm just going to... Sonic Boom him. Pop in. Give him a true strike. Barret can use Lifeblood Cannon because that's his highest damage skill. One more shot. Tifa is going to use Rise and Fall to give herself ATB back. Now she's going to use True Strike. Um, Aerith can't really do any damage, but Haste isn't up, so I'm going to put Haste up because this isn't going to... Abilities, unbridled strength. All right. So he's almost dead. We might be able to kill him with just a little bit of a. Yeah, why not? Let's just do that. Use a synergy skill. He's highly interruptible unless he's using Omni Slash. So I'm gonna give ATB to everybody. Steel skin and bonus round. Have Tifa use, I don't know, Star Shower. Why not? He's going to start using some minor physical attacks and some fire attacks. And the fire attacks are completely non threatening in every way. Because everybody's completely immune. Um. She probably can't kill with level true transcendence, but she doesn't have any reason not to use it. It's going to be the only other damage that she does, so let's just go ahead and unload it. I'll have Tifa go in and use a dive kick. I'll have Barret use... I could use a synergy ability and they would die, but 
Maximum Fury, why not? Don't look away. Kill him in the middle of Oxus Slash animation. Easy. Very, very, very easy. All you need to do is pause, wait a little bit, and then those shadowy changes, they're just fucking nothing. They're as easy as anything. And you can be safe the whole time with barriers, and it's, it's just an easy, relaxing, it's really not hard at all, as long as you know what to look for. And pause a little bit more than I did. Obviously, I didn't need to pause as much because I've got a little bit more experience, but... Really, really not that bad. Except Sephiroth, but like I said, you can trivialize Sephiroth pretty well if you pause it a little bit.